Hey you guys, it's Peter, <laughs> and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now, available 2018. The album, Dad. <laughs> AF. Gucci, Gucci, Louie, Louie, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. The Christmas wish list of YouTubers everywhere. Listen, okay, two years ago you were happy enough if you got Christmas fleece, okay, under the Christmas tree from Old Navy. Now, two years later, you're the beauty influencer of the world and you're driving a Tesla or a Lamborghini and you're wearing Balenciaga and Chanel and all this kind of stuff. Listen, listen, okay? Even if I had a Chanel backpack and all of my clothes were from Crystal's Mall in Las Vegas, Nevada, okay, and all of my luggage was Louis Vuitton, even if all that, <laughs> Lewis Vuitton, even if all that, okay, I'd still be found up in the Bob Evans because it is down home cooking all day long. Let's get right into this video. Today we are going to do uh, a palette first impressions unboxing of James Charles times Morphe. So, uh, previously I had called these videos reviews, but it was pointed out to me that you can't really do a review when you're not doing a tutorial and you're not doing swatches and things like that. And I was like, true, true. So from now on, I'm gonna call these palette reveals, first impressions and unboxings. And yes, this is a giveaway. You're gonna have to stay tuned till later in the video to find out if you might be the lucky winner of this said palette. Okay, so anyway, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on here and I'm going to just unbox it. I'm going to tell you exactly what I think, like as if you receive this in the mail. Oh my lord! This palette is so big. Can I, re can I just tell you something? This palette, re this, okay, first of all, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of reviews over my, oh you didn't know? Oh you didn't know! Peter started a review channel. It's called Peter Review Stuff. I'm reviewing food over there, like Starbucks Frappuccinos and all kinds of stuff, candies. I'm reviewing movies and, t movies and TV shows. I'm reviewing gadgets, all kinds of holiday items. It's real fun. So come over there. Starting next week, I'm going to be uh, posting videos every day on that channel. I'm really excited. I love doing that. It's so, I'm having so much fun. So go check it out. Peter Review Stuff is listed below. But somebody was telling me they thought that I should review this palette over there. And I was like, you know, I'm going to do some uh, beauty things over there, like the Jeffree Star Lip Scrubs. I'm going to review over there. But the palette, I'm going to review on this channel because this is what I've been doing on this channel is reviews or first impressions. But this palette, this, this one right here, this reminds me of those palettes that, you know, back in the day you would go into like, um, I don't know, like Blocks or Airs, you know, Macy's, that stuff floating around the air. They still have Macy's, but Blocks or Airs back in the day or Dillard's or one of those stores. And you'd like want to buy your mom a lipstick and you get like a $30 lipstick, like Elizabeth Arden or something like that. But then you get this huge palette with it and it would have all these, and, and you knew she wasn't going to use it, right? My mom would open it. She'd be like, Peter, that's so sweet. You know, because it was like, you know, with purchase, you get gift and the gift was the palette. Now everybody in the world goes crazy over these palettes. So anyway, this is a James Charles palette. Um, it came in just a plain brown box for Morphe. So, but I think that this packaging is very pretty. It's very cool. On the back of it, he has a little note that is signed and it says, hi sisters, hi sisters. You know I'm getting that fan, okay? I'm getting that fan from the merch shop. James Charles here and welcome back to my palette. Um, oh, welcome back, like to the back of the palette. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I love glam, but I also have a huge passion for crazy colorful outside of the box makeup. And um, I created this palette with that in mind. Outside of the box, out of the box. Outside of the box? Mm. I included every beautifully formulated shade. Shade. Shady sisters. Um, I included every beautifully formulated shade necessary to create literally any look you could possibly imagine. I can't wait to see what you come up with when you unleash your inner artist. And that's the hashtag that he's using for this. And underneath here, he has hashtag Morphe times James Charles at Morphe Brushes, hashtag Morphe Babe. Okay. So then it goes in here and it shows you everything you'd ever want to know. It has all the ingredients listed on here. Pressed pigment. Pigmented up the world. And then it has his signature, James Charles. So don't copy that and then tell your friends, oh my God, I got an autograph from James Charles. And people are going to be like, yeah, really? Well, uh, you just cut that out from a piece of paper because I got it on the back of his palette too. So then on the front of it, it has his face and it has all this little deal on there. The James Charles palette, artistry palette, palette, do, anyway, I don't, I don't know French, so we won't be reading all that. Okay, so here we go. I'm, I got to keep this really nice for whoever receives it in the mail from me. Okay, on the side it says, Morphe times James Charles. Okay, so here we are. You ready? For the unveiling of the world. 
I love bubble wrap, okay? I have to keep it nice, so I won't, I will not play into my bubble wrap addiction, but I literally can sit here and drive my husband crazy all day long and be like, did you do that? Okay, so here it is, this beautiful bubble wrap um, little deal going on here. And, oh, this is one of those bubble wrap sleeves. I have these, so I'll be saving this, but then we know, oh, oh my hot potatoes. Okay, so here it is. And um, can you see it? I don't know, it's black and it's like matte and it's uh, very, very pretty. And it has kind of like this glossy, like it's not raised lettering, but it's like, uh, it almost feels like, what do you, like app applique kind of on there. It's, I think it's beautiful, it's very nice. I love that he went with just like the all black. I think it's very simple. It is a huge palette though. Like here's my thing with a palette like this. Like if you're traveling, how do you realist? <laughs> I won the palette. You did. Which palette? The one that Peter was hitting himself in the head with. But like realistically, like how do you throw this in a purse, okay? Unless you have some ginormous purse. Anyway, um, <laughs> I don't really have, when you go through like the metal detector at the airport and they're like, is that a, com is that a computer? Is that a laptop? No, it's my James Charles palette. <laughs> it does kind of look like, a, you know, a little a laptop. So anyway, are you ready? We're going to open this and do the unveiling and I'll give you my first impressions. Now, I already watched his video and um, it's kind of magnetized. Oh, it is magnetized, so it stays shut. Oh, I like that, that's really nice. So I did my review or reaction to his unveiling on his channel, so I'm going to open it and tell you, it's really nice that it's mag uh, magnetized. Oh my God, beautiful. But I will tell you, as soon as you open it, the plastic goes, it went for me, it went to the top. It didn't stay um, on the pans. So hold on a second, let me fix this. Okay, but what is really nice about this, it is really beautiful, you guys. Like in person, it is really, really beautiful. But um, I was paid to say that. That was part of my James Charles check that I got. Anyway, but what I really, really like about this is over each of the colors um, the, on the plastic, it has the color written on it, which I think is fantastic. So when you're looking at, now I don't know what you do like when you don't have the plastic on there, you have to put it back on there and then it gets messy and then that's kind of messy. But um, so I'm not gonna read through all the colors again because everybody's already seen the colors. I'm just gonna tell you what some of my favorites are that, stood, that are standing out to me. Um, he went in here and the whole idea of the palette, here let me show you the palette on camera. If you can see it. Oh, with, you can see my ring light though, isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, I love the idea of a ring light. Anyway, there it is, you can kind of see it. Um, does it say anything on the back? On the back it just says, mm, not really, just says information. The James Charles palette, he has his own sticker and everything. I want my own sticker, the Peter Mon palette. Um, so he goes in here and he said that you can make any kind of look with this palette, blah, 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 whatever. Um, you know, I'm like impressed with it because it literally, it, it really reminds me honestly, like, no shade whatsoever, but it reminds me of like a box of crayons, honestly. Like it literally has like every color in here, right? So if you have every color in a palette, of course, you can make every um, look you would want to look. Now I will tell you that this plastic at the bottom of it has a little bit of like fallout or something on it. That's, I don't, it's from the yellow, but I don't know why because none of the pans have any fallout on them whatsoever. So I don't know where that little yellow came in from, but I fixed it for whoever wins. So canvas <clears throat> is okay. I mean, there's a lot of nude color, like kind of nude colors at the top of this. Um, but then it goes into, he's got some glitters in here that are absolutely beautiful. Um, this, what is this called? Uh, so good is like a gold, which is very similar to face. These two are very similar when you look at them in person. Wig is kind of like a darker version of uh, so good. And then he also has artistry, Cape Cod, and guac. And those seem to be, uh, oh, and sister. Those uh, literally and shook are kind of like the glitter uh, shimmer looks in there, which you can't even really see so much on the palette on video, but like in person, the artistry is the one that like stands out the most when you're looking at it. Um, the other colors that I, I think are the prettiest on here, I'm um, just looking at it, are I think Playground and Brother are absolutely beautiful, and Skip is really pretty too, down here at the very bottom, this like pink color. Now, I think the red that he went crazy over was your kidding. Wasn't that the one that he went crazy over? Which is interesting because when you look at it on here, it doesn't like, it doesn't just jump out at you. You're not like, oh my God, you're kidding. It's the most fantastic red. Do you remember when he like swatched that on his uh, thing? Where's my fan? When he swatched it and you're like, now, he should have called this one shade on here, Cola. He should have called it Peter's fan because it almost matches that totally. But 
Um, and then Hello, I guess, is a little is a little glimmery too. So yeah, you could make everything on here that you wanted to. Um, I mean, the thing is, is, it's it's got a lot. I mean, it's very similar to a lot of palettes that have like many colors in it. So it's not like when I opened it, I'm like super impressed with the world. Like it's not like I'm like oh my god. I think this is what I think. Okay, I think to have a palette home that you can do like many different looks off of is fantastic. I think 39 colors, 39 eyeshadows, many of which are big eyeshadows because he said that he wanted to create the ones that you, you're going to use more often um, so that you have more product of that. I think to do that and have 39 pans for $39 is really, you know, cost effective. I think it's really affordable to people. Um, and I think it's really fair, especially for a first palette coming out. I mean, you get a lot of bang for your buck with that. It's a beautiful palette. It's very clean. It's very nice. And I think that what's interesting about this is that I think that's kind of, you know, representative of who James Charles is as a person. I mean, he's just, he, you know, it's like, you know, back in the day when you would go to, <laughs> some people are going to be like, no, I don't remember that at all. But do you remember sometimes, or some, for some of you, do you remember back in the day and you would go to like the marching band, like competitions or, you know, you don't know what I'm talking about? Or you listen, so you think you could dance, you watch that on TV and you're like, oh my God, what a clean performance. Like they were so clean. They like nailed it technically and everything like that. This palette like nails it technically. It's so clean. The black on black is beautiful. It says right here, unleash your inner artist. It's not over the top. There's not some huge gimmick with it. There's not some, you know, it's just very, very well done. And I think like technically, if you look at it from like a technical makeup point of view, I think that is what the selling point is on this palette. I think, you know, down the road, <laughs> I mean, he may do more palettes, but I said previously, like, the problem is, he said this is the only palette you'll ever need to make every look you want to make in the entire look, or the world. So the problem is, if he comes out with a palette next year, and the palette's like this, and he's like, oh my god, you have to have this palette because of that. That's kind of a problem. But, to have other palettes that you could, like, build off of this palette down the road, I think is, is cool, a cool idea. Um... I don't know, I'm really impressed with it. Some of my favorite colors on here are, I have to say like the You're Kidding does not stand out to me, but when I saw the swatch, I thought, <laughs> the swatches, <laughs> sister swatch. When I saw the swatches, I, I did think it was incredible. Sis, which is like this orange up here, is beautiful. Um, I mean, these ranges in here, the colors that he said you'll use on a regular basis are fine. Um, I think Halloween is really pretty. Artistry is gorgeous, it stands out. This Hello right here, this kind of like very pale blue that's kind of like a shimmery glitter is gorgeous. A social blade, this green right here, is beautiful. And they really don't show up on camera the way that they are in person. And I will say that, like, that's one of the things I always notice when showing all these palettes, is that they really don't show up the way, um, they don't look on camera the way that they do in person. It's, it's sturdy. It's very nice. I mean, it's like every other palette, but I love that it's magnetized. I don't know. The, it's so big, though, isn't it? It's so big. <laughs> What do you gals do, or you, you guys do, when you, like, have to carry your bags around your purses? How do you slide this into all of that? Like, that would be my question. But other than that, I think it's fantastic. Um, I'm real impressed with it. I don't know. I think it'd make a really nice Christmas gift for people. It's obviously pretty affordable, and I think a lot of people would want it. So, there is my first impressions of the Morphe Times James Charles. I will also be doing the uh, Alien Palette by... Uh, Jeffree Star coming out. Jeffree Star, Jacqueline Hill. I will be doing that when it comes out or when I receive it. Um, I got it off of, because I was an idiot. <laughs> I got it off of Beautylish, and it was back ordered when I ordered it. And I didn't get it off the Jeffree Star website. So I will be going, and uh, I won't be getting it. It doesn't even ship out to like the 26 or something like that. But I will be doing a giveaway and a first impressions of that as well. This is all back in its box ready to go, ready to be shipped out. So you might be asking yourself, Peter, I don't really give a shit about you. I don't really give a shit about this, uh, about this video. I just really want to know, how do I win the damn palette? So the way you win said palette is this. It is currently 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Indianapolis. So I'm going to say this video will probably be up by 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Indianapolis um, on Saturday afternoon. So I'm going to give it to, let's say, I ain't got my glasses on, I can't do math, Saturday to Sunday, Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday, Tuesday at 6 p.m. That will give you uh, 72 hours. Is that right? Like I said, I'm my glasses on, I can't do math. 72 hours to win this palette. 
these are the things you have to do. Pretty typical compared to all of my other, uh, pretty typical, you know, as like I've done all my other giveaways. You have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to follow me on Instagram. If you don't have an Instagram, let me know why you don't have Instagram. And if I think it's a good enough reason, then I'll let it by. Um, but if you do have an Instagram and you uh, are wanting to win this palette, put what your Instagram is below so I can go check you out. Um, and then you have to also pick what your favorite video of mine is and you have to say why. So and it can be from any channel because you know I have five channels. So anyway, you have to put that in the comment section below, and then I will be uh, picking the winner from a random comment picker at 6 p.m. or sometime around there, but that's when the contest ends, Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday, and then I will mail said package out within two weeks of the contest ending. See, it's pretty simple. That's all you have to do. Are you excited? Do you want to win it? Hi. Hi, James. How are you? <laughs> hey, sisters. So anyway, uh, put in the comment section below what you think about this palette. Have you bought it already do you like it all that kind of stuff let me know what you think go check out my review channel I'm doing a lot of fun reviews over there I'm having a blast with that channel it's so much fun um I love you guys and enter the contest why wouldn't you you might win and I will see you tomorrow bye